what is up guys in today's video we're going to talk about tube effects and if you remember in my previous vlog we talked about the freeze-dried ones but now we're going to talk about the live ones but first here is where I'll temporarily put them so this is how they look like outside of plastic I don't mean to gross you out guys but for me it kind of looks like corned beef oh! Ew! Dude! What the f so I'm already done extracting them using a fish net and if you're gonna do it with a fish net as well just make sure that the fish net is uh, fine or kind of like created with a fine material because if not uh, some of these worms because of uh, their sizes they might go through the holes of the fish net and you end up uh, losing some of them mm -hmm. so we don't want that to happen so better find a strainer with a fine material to be able to just take out the water off the plastic and then put it in a container with an air hose because that is very vital for their survival and after that we're going to feed them to our fish here we have my Thai silk uh, my 2k zz's uh, my goldfish and my newly bought ranch rooms. there you have it guys so see you later So it's about night time and I believe it's about time as well that we feed our fish some Tubifex worms. So uh, you'll see me feeding the fish using a disposable fork because I think this one is the most convenient way of scooping these worms because they're kind of like clumped up and it's better to use something that divides them. You know what I'm saying? By the way guys, this would actually be their first time to eat live food. So if they kind of look like a bit hesitant, uh, don't worry because they're going to eat these uh, worms once they're done investigating it. So I'm gonna leave them like this for a while and we're going to proceed with the next fish. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Day two. Day two guys, as you can see, the water has turned 
uh, dirty already so we need to clean this one first in order to make sure that the survivability rate of these worms will uh, kind of like be on an extended period because we don't want them to die without having uh, fed them to the fish so let's go ahead and clean this ones first now that we're done cleaning their temporary home i've already made a sketch of uh, their maintenance setup again the materials that we're going to use here can already be found inside your home so make sure to have uh, materials prepared uh, you don't necessarily need to have the same materials as i use but uh, better if you could so that uh, we could be aligned on how it would look like I know that this is kind of uh, hard to understand for some of you guys but you'll then be able to get what I'm trying to say or convey using this sketch when we're already doing the project. So stay tuned until the end of the video. So these are the materials that we're going to need in order for this project to push through. Again from left to right we would be needing a soldering iron which is a DIYer's best friend. If you don't have this one, what are you waiting for? Go get yourself some. But if you really can't, uh, try to look for something that can punch holes through plastic. It can be a drill, a power drill or anything. But I think it would be best if you get yourself a soldering iron. And we also would be needing a pair of scissors, a cutter, in case you need some uh, finishing touches to do and then your uh, filter medias the biological the mechanical the porous rings lava rocks and etc and we would also be of course needing two containers it would be better to use two different sizes for this one since we're going to stack them up together and lastly the plastic bottle and a pipe so for the plastic bottle, it could be any plastic bottle so as long that it would fit all the filter medias that we're going to use. And for the pipe, so as long that it would fit inside the hole that we're going to make. Uh, it could be from your top filter that you don't uh, use anymore or such. And if you don't have one, just look for something that will um, kind of like connect the upper container to the bottom container. First thing that we're going to do is to cut this plastic bottle in half and I'll be doing so using the soldering iron but guys make sure to wear a mask when you're using soldering iron so that the fumes won't be inhaled by you. Now this is how it should look like guys and then once you're done punch some holes at the bottom as well so that clean water will go through there. You can now put your filter medias inside the plastic bottle that you punch holes with. And now you're gonna let this one set inside the first container. I'm also going to punch a bigger hole here in the first container for the wires and the holes. This one's looking good and I think it can already fit both the wires and the holes that I'm about to use. So next step is to punch a hole in your second container and uh, once we're done with everything else, it should look a little bit like this. Now that we've punched a hole, it should look like this and the next thing that we must do is to ensure that there is no leak whatsoever or kind of like small holes for the water to uh, kind of like sip through. And for that, we would be needing a sealant, but since I don't have one with me, I'm going to use hot glue instead. Don't forget a leak test so you won't be having any problems in the future. After several tries, I think I was able to perfect my second container already. I also punched a hole here for the hose, and now that's done. Uh, we can then put our uh, filter and everything else 
and this is the final result now everything's been uh, working uh, completely fine and smoothly uh, just make sure that there is no leak whatsoever and place everything else in a secured place so that it wouldn't topple and once you're done you can now put your worms and uh, good luck maintaining them to be completely honest with you guys this setup is uh, with no flaw uh, some of the worms will fall through the hole uh, in your pipe but uh, most of them will stay where they are so what worked for me might not work for others but i suggest you try first and then see if it is to your own liking if you made it this far thank you very much for watching and i hope i helped some of you guys and if you want some of or kind of like more of this content please feel free to like the video subscribe it's free and see you guys in another video peace